Two bites. This is a courtesy gift video for the ladies at uh, Right and Proper Ladies. Uh, I recently came across your channel uh, a couple days ago. Saw it, really, really liked it. So, but I also realized that uh, you were missing Saturdays and Sundays. So I think I'll take off uh, on um, uh, helicopters up. Uh, idea and continue on with dreams and uh, give you a dream video that you can put up today uh, for Saturday and one for Sunday. Okay, so we're all talking about dreams and there are a lot of different uh, ideas of where dreams come from or what dreams are all about uh, and the likes. Some people feel that, you know, dreams are symbolic and they have every single section of it has a meaning others don't uh... my personal experience with dreams i don't find any of the symbolism in there what i do find are strong emotions raw feelings uh... these are the primary motivators of dreams and then from there on out depending on where these emotions go you can end up with, uh, with something that's good, you know, a fairly good dream that you enjoy, or something that literally terrifies you. I also found that uh, as I was doing some research into sleep, that uh, the body produces uh, an enormous amount of noxious gases when you're sleeping. Uh, this is what we we what we end up experiencing as uh, morning breath the amount of organic gases that are in there uh, can be actually quite lethal and they can actually uh, stop a person from breathing. This is where sleep apnea comes in, uh, particularly when people are sleeping on their backs. Uh, if they can't clear off enough of the uh, the gases, uh, and you include the carbon dioxide, it pools, and the person starts choking, and they wake up briefly, and then go back to sleep again. During these periods, I found that as, from for myself, where I realized that the, the oxygen was sort of being depleted from the room, this is before I put a uh, an air exchanger in the room that makes sure that air is always being circulated in the room, that enough oxygen is getting when if uh, when the air was depleted with oxygen, that's when my nightmares really began. That's when uh, you really started having the terrors. As you sort of went further and further into to oxygen de deprivation, your nightmares typically got worse. So these are the this is the the physiology of dreams and nightmares. Uh, but as for the dreams themselves. Uh, my experience is that the dreams are its own world unto itself, something akin to a parallel universe where you step, uh, when you go to s sleep, you step through a particular door and you're in you enter into the dream world. And from there, whatever you've experienced in your regular life comes in and provides a lot of the characters for what you experience in the dream world. The problem is is that you can meet people in the dream world or have experiences that really you don't really know where you got the experience from. There is a couple of years ago I was having these unbelievable dreams. They weren't bad dreams, they're just sort of unbelievably freaky. And they're all about different places. So I decided, well, because there are places in Toronto, let's see if I can go and find them. So I did that. I went and found the places. I went, you know, found, you know, all the different places that I was, I was dreaming about. But they never looked, they didn't look the same it was as they did in the dream. So as I looked into it more carefully, I realized that, that things changed because these are old places. And that there might have been, they may have looked differently uh, uh, years ago. I went back and found some old photographs of, of uh, these areas, and there they were in my dreams. These were the pictures that I had seen in my dreams. 
well, how did I see these, uh, how, how did these, these old pictures get into my dreams? Well, it turns out that uh, when I was younger and we were going to church, that my dad would take these roots down uh, into uh, these roads that are now uh, closed off and there are now parks in there. And that's how it would go. So basically as a kid experiencing this as a child, uh, probably six, seven, eight years old, but I had forgotten about this. You know, most of the stuff as you get older, you, f you start forgetting about a lot of the stuff that happens when you're younger. But uh, it comes, I found that a lot of it comes back in dreams. So a lot of the weird experiences in your dreams can even be coming from way, way, way back when you were, you know, four, five, six years old. This is where uh, a chunk of your dreams can be coming from. This includes uh, my dreams of uh, houses getting up and uh, having a parade down Washington Street in uh, in Boston. This includes uh, visiting planets, being other people, and of course the standard teeth falling out. I think I think I, from what I've wa watched on the internet and from other people's I think the teeth falling out one is a fairly common one. I don't know how common flying is in the dream. Uh, falling is rather common. Falling and dying in the dream is not common because most people wake up before they die. I've actually experienced death in my dreams. And of course I haven't died in my dreams because that, the, the assumption was that if you die in your dreams you die in real life. But uh, because I'm here <laughs> That's obviously not the case, or at least not the case for me anyway. So, there are, you know, and you, it, some of the dreams start off as nightmares, you know, of course, dying is never pleasant. But once it happens more than once or twice, and you begin to realize in your dream that you're not going to die, then the fear sort of disappears, and it becomes more like a roller coaster ride. There's a bit of anticipation at the beginning, and then the thrill, and the afterwards. So that's about it for uh, the dreams today. Uh, I'll leave a little bit more for tomorrow. Uh, I'll talk about more of some of my, my my more bizarre dreams. Those those weren't the bizarre ones really. They those were the, the, the sort of the commonalities. Uh, so Ellie, girls, uh, I hope you liked the video.